have a um, track on the uh, album called Idols Become Your Rivals. Right. Has that actually came true? Is that actually a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. You care to share when um, you actually figured out that you, you your know, idols actually became your rivals? No, it's just, it's one of those things that when you're a student mm -hmm. and you know, you just, you, you, you admire someone from a distance, then mm -hmm. you get opportunity to work with them and mm -hmm. you work in, you know, along with them and then you begin to see things that you really don't, you know, respect or, you know, um, or, or didn't expect to see. Right. And once you see it almost become, you know, the source to, you know, their downfall, um, um, it's really unfortunate. Right. And, and when you see other other solid dudes suffering at the same time, that's what make it even worse. So, you know, that's what made me really just want to put it on, you know, put it on wax. No, that's that makes the most sense. Yeah. Um, I noticed that you've had you have some of the best features. You you featured with everybody. Um, it, and this <laughs> this um, album is no different. You definitely featured with a lot of people. Is there somebody that you haven't featured with who you'd like to feature? Uh, Lionel Richie. Okay. I see that. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. with that. Uh, Rihanna. We still ain't get in yet. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um, you never know. And what are some of your favorite features? Tears of Joy, CeeLo. I mean, facts. All yeah. facts. It's one of my great best songs. That's that one of my heard. favorite records. Right. Um, you know, just just recording that in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I remember listening to the, the production with Kanye. No ID produced it, so we was just in the back room. And I remember playing the beat for him, like, yo, I got an idea for it. He was like, yeah, do it. And um, I remember taking the, the record to CeeLo. Right. When I got back to Atlanta, yo, this is the idea. He you took it to that next level. You talk about a testimony. That was a testimony track. I listened to that back and forth and back and forth over again. That in 16. 16 ain't it. enough. Shout out to Dre. Amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you tell me? what that was about, like what, being in the studio, we were in the studio together, no? Me and Dre wasn't no. in the studio, Andre was overseas filming a, a movie. And you just called him up and was like, yo, you gotta get on this. I reached out to him, he told me he was overseas and I told him to take his time. He told me he had me though. So it may have been um, two or three weeks, but. And he sent them guitars, he sent uh, the guitar he, just yeah, off he, rip. He went all in for me, he said, I got you, I got you, I'm gonna go in. So, you know, he did the chorus, the verse, the outro. Right. Played the banjo. Ross, that was. And, and you know, I just was like, yo, you know, that was so dope. And you know, to me, it's the small things when the artists go, don't just give me a 16 and an ad lib, but when you go above and beyond that, you know, mm -hmm. because to me, it's the details that make your music what it is. When you listen to, when you listen to that same album, when you listen to the end of, uh, you know, Maybach music, you right. hear L.A. Reid. Right. I had L.A. Reid actually do the outro on a record, on the music. Really? That's when we was at Def Jam Records. Right. Jesus, yeah, I, I, I always knew that you were a lover of actual music. You right. were, you, you were a fan of music, and I think that's why I'm, I was one of your fan, like biggest fans, because I was like, you definitely, know your stuff about music and you care about the music. And speaking of caring about music, you have a single out. Right. Um, called Trap, Trap, Trap. My new single, Trap, Trap, Trap. Why did you pick that as your single? Wale and Young Thug, it was just so energetic. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those big records. Um, it's going, you know, it's one of those records that are, that are control of summer, like right. a BMF or right. Every Day I'm Hustling. Right. That's what that is. Can I just tell you, Every Day I'm Hustling, I bought my first car in high school to that. That's what I'm and talking about. And we used to okay. blast that song every day. You had we the thought windows we, down? What? Okay, okay, windows. Okay, okay, okay. We, didn't even, we didn't even believe in windows mm -hmm. in the summertime because we- You gotta let the music bleed. Hello. Let it bleed. So um, yeah, that was definitely big. 